Wait a minute. This isn't right. I got it. One, two, perfect. Hi guys, Jenny with Jenny Squad here and I'm back today with another Dollar Tree haul. So as always, I am very excited to show you everything I found. Real quick before I get into the haul, don't forget to subscribe to the squad. I would love to have you. And also for those of you that are subscribed already, thank you so much. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss when I upload a video. I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. That way you don't miss out on the new and exciting things I find at Dollar Tree and other stores I shop at. And that's all I have for today. So let's get into the haul. All right, guys. So the haul I have today is completely random. So I have a mix of fall goodies and other things that I found as well. So let's just jump right in and get started. The first thing I want to share with you is this cup that I found. So I was talking about how Dollar Tree hasn't really had any good designs, you know, for cups and things like that. But this is really nice. I love the gold foil. It says hello fall. It actually unscrews um, on the top and it's just really pretty and a nice cup for a dollar. It does not say if it's BPA free or not. Um, so I'll probably put cold drinks in here, but still uh, fun to use around fall. So this was a really great find, really pretty. And I'm really happy I found that one. I also found this one. So this says fall weather calls for a cozy sweater, which is really cute. I actually really love the blue with this gold um, foil writing on it. I think it's really pretty and I like how they did it with uh, the blue instead of like a standard orange or red. So I think that's super pretty. Uh, this is probably my favorite one. I also really like the same. So that's really cute. Again, it's just a screw top. It closes like this and it's perfect for cold drinks. If you're unsure about using it for hot drinks, um, I like to use these at bedtime so that no critters can get up in my, get up in my drinks. Um, so these are perfect to use for that reason. Uh, the next thing I found was these stickers. So these are kind of spring, uh, but I think they're really cute. So I picked them up now. It's this cute yellow truck and you know how I feel about the truck. So the yellow truck with just the spring flowers in the background, all these beautiful flowers in the flower stands. It just gives me like, I don't know, like the vibe that you're shopping somewhere like on vacation or something like that that's what it reminds me of for some reason like you would kind of see this as you're strolling by uh somewhere new to me I don't know why that's what it reminds me of and it kind of gives me like that feeling so I really like that and that's why I picked these up so that was a great find um and sorry this is all over the place it's all random so it's just mixed in together it's not in any particular order um i also found this lantern so these are super cool so you actually put these together there's a picture on the front of what it would look like and i did see some of these put together and i noticed that they kind of lean they're not very sturdy the concept of this is really good uh it comes with a little color changing light so I'm hoping that by finagling with this a little bit, I can make it look a little sturdier, maybe by wrapping it around something um, that keeps it straight. But I really liked this design. There's a couple different designs that I saw, but I liked this one. It has the cats and um, it's on a fence with like the moon and the cobwebs. So this was my favorite one and I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see how it goes, but I really liked it. I thought it was cool. So I picked it up. Uh, I also was able to find this super pretty little pumpkin tray. So this is plastic. They did have this in different colors. So they had this color, which is kind of a neutral. It looks almost pearlescent, uh, kind of like a pearl sort of thing. But it was really cute and I found it and I think it's pretty. I think it'll be a nice addition just to put like little hors d'oeuvres or something in here. Nothing that you have to like heat up or anything, obviously, but... Uh, for Thanksgiving, I thought that would be great to use uh, for 
who knows what yet, but uh, I'm sure I will find a good use for it, even if you put like rolls in here or something like that, I guess. But I think that's really pretty, so I picked it up for that reason, and I just really liked it. I like how simple it is, so I grabbed that. And then I found these little, it says feather foam. No idea what this is, but it's basically like this little foam stuff in here or almost like kinetic sand I would say but it's like really light so I bought a couple of these for my daughter it says flip it upside down and watch it come alive and then it says um you can take it out and use it as like a uh, moldable kind of like kinetic sand sorry if I'm bending over I'm just picking up the items out of the bag but I did grab the yellow and the purple these are Greenbrier products so they are Dollar Tree um, which is cool because that means maybe they'll come back. But if you like these, uh, give them a shot. I don't know. I haven't tried them yet, but we'll see how it goes. And it's pretty much, like I said, like a generic kinetic sand, it looks like. So we'll see how it is. But I thought that was cool. So I picked up a couple for her just to, just to mess with to see how she likes it. Um, I did pick up this really creepy bird. So... All right, so quick story. I wanted to put, get a crow to put in. If you guys didn't catch my Target dollar spot haul, check it out. But if you saw the bird cage that I bought, I wanted to buy a crow to put in there for Hocus Pocus theme kind of um, when I do, you know, decorate my living room, which will be soon. Um, but I couldn't find a regular crow. So I figured I could pick up this bird that's kind of been, looks like it's been sitting in there forever. So I will put this in there for now. Uh, I don't really like, I guess, I don't know. I'm not really into like the skeleton thing as far as like animals or birds or spiders or whatever they have at Dollar Tree usually. I'm not really too into them. This one I thought was pretty cool, I guess, for um, putting inside that bird cage for now. This one's pretty realistic, I feel like, too. It looks it looks pretty real. So this was cool, uh, cool find, and I'm going to put that in there for now. That's how I'm going to use it for Halloween. Uh, but once I find the actual, like, black curl, I will probably switch over to that. The next thing I found, guys, oh, my gosh. So I found these candle holders, and these give me beetlejuice vibes so bad i absolutely love that movie and i love watching it for halloween and i found these little candle holders and look how cool these are oh my gosh tell me that does not remind you of beetlejuice if you guys have seen that movie but i think these are cool for halloween and um I am doing a ghost theme in one area, so I will probably put these over there, but so cool, such a great find, and I'm super happy that I found these. They totally remind me of that movie, so I grabbed that one, and then I did grab a second one to go with it, so that's the second one, and then this third one is so, like, chic. It's just got the polka dots, but this reminds me of Kate Spade, if you guys are familiar with that designer. Um, I get a lot of her like purses and things like that, but this just totally reminds me of, of that design. So I thought that was super cute. This is kind of like an everyday type thing um, that you could use. You could use it around Halloween or something if you wanted to, it's black and white, but I just really liked that and I thought that was such a good find. So those were really cool to see because they were new and I've never seen those there before. Um, and then I picked up some of these moon pies. So Adia did want to try these out. She's never had these before. But the cool thing is, is this says it's the moon pie minis. So I'm assuming that they're smaller. Let me open and see what they look like. Oh my gosh, they are. They're like the little size ones. So how cool is that? So if you don't want like a big old moon pie, um, they do have them in these smaller packages, which is really nice. So I'm going to give her this to try and um, I'll see if she likes it. We did just celebrate her birthday recently. Uh, she turned 12. So that was super exciting and fun, um, but unbelievable that she's 12 already, just crazy. Um, I also picked up this 
sign. So this has been around for a very long time. I want to say it's like last year or maybe even the year before. So this has a year of firsts and it has all these like things on it with a piece of chalk that you can write with. I'm not going to use it for this. Um, I bought two of the sheets of the corkboard adhesive. So I want to actually cover this up uh, and I mean, obviously trim it up, make it look nice. And then um, you can hang it up pretty much anywhere. But I wanted to have this uh, so that my daughter could hang up, you know, pictures or whatever in her room of whatever she wants. I might even like put a nice like border around it or something. But I thought that would be good for school because she's doing virtual learning right now. So I think if she has that cork board, um, she can kind of stick up papers or whatever she needs to do uh, for that reason. So I picked that up to kind of do a DIY of like a little cork board for her. So I think that would be cool as far as like for her desk. Um, I did pick up this bib and I think it is just the cutest thing. So my sister is having another baby and I can finally say that publicly, but she is. So I um, picked this up for her and it says Aurorable with a lion and that is just so cute. And I think this is such a great deal for a dollar. It has like the little like food catching pouch in here but um, it's plastic so it wipes very easily and I think it's a cute design. So I picked that up for her. So I'm gonna give her that. I also picked up some of these hooks and the reason I picked up these adhesive hooks, so I would say that these do not hold anything that's very heavy um, or very like, I guess they're not very strong, but if you're hanging up something like this, which is very light, uh, I think it will work, which is why I picked this up. So I'm going to hang this in my daughter's room. We're kind of redoing her setup in there as far as her desk and everything. So we'll put that up and the cork board and then she can use that. I also was able to find this Real Techniques by Sam, Sam and Nick. So this is an expert air sponge, cushion sponge, and... It says you use dry with cushion compacts handle for added control and root. Just replace every three months. But that's super cool. What a good find. And I'm going to try that out. So it, you just basically, it's a sponge that you can hold and kind of dab your makeup on. Now, like I said, I don't wear a ton of makeup or cover up and things like that. But this would be helpful for like under my eyes or something. Um if I use like a little bit of foundation, like I said, I use probably like a couple drops here and there. I don't really like the feeling of foundation, so I don't use a lot of it, but the little that I put on, I could probably use this for. I've also seen some DIYers use this, so that's a good idea too if you want to sponge something on if you're painting something. So that was another thing that I saw. And I picked up this little witch hat. So how cute is this? This is like the cutest little hat ever. You just, it just kind of sits there and it goes perfect with my Hocus Pocus theme. So I picked this up. Typically I don't like the uh, look like this, um, the tinsely look, but I thought this looked really nice. So I did pick that up to put uh, with my decor. And then I picked up this, which is so cool. So this says it's called Filthy Rich, woman owned, and it's 30 fashion prints that are transferable. So it's a nail transfer kit. And you can basically put all these designs. So there's 30 different designs. And I do my own nails all the time. So I thought this was such a great find for a dollar. And it comes with everything you need to transfer the print onto your nail. And it shows you on the back as well the steps on how to do it. A dollar? I found this for a dollar. So that was such a good find. And I'm actually going to be putting it probably in the giveaway uh, prizes when I send them out, which will be very soon. So um, really, really great find. I am so excited that I found this. It's Onyx Brands Inc. And it's from North Little Rock, Arkansas. So really cool. It's not a Dollar Tree brand and I am definitely going to be using this. I actually picked up two just in case. 
Ah, uh, but such a good find. Who would have ever thought that this would be at Dollar Tree? So great find. And then I was able to find this also for a baby, but this little cute little dinosaur hat with the little mittens. And it's just the cutest thing and I absolutely love it. So I picked that up for my sister as well, but how cute and for a dollar you get both things. So I thought that was such a good find. So I'm gonna give her that. And then I was also able to find this stone sugar file by the same brand, Onyx Professional. It's double-sided and you use this basically on your feet, you know, like if you're giving yourself like a little pedicure or something, but it's name brand. So I picked that up and it does feel like very coarse, like it would work very well. So that was also a great find for a dollar. So I was able to find that too, which is awesome. And then the last thing that I found, um, I did find these candles. So these black candles, they say like peace and this says driftwood sands. I'm not thrilled about the smell, um, but the reason I picked them up is because I want to take these labels off or I could use the back and actually print my own labels and put like a witch like theme or Halloween theme on these candles because they're black. So I thought that would look really cool. And um, if you've never seen uh, Cheek on the Sheep, cheek on the cheap. She's actually the one that I saw do these um, candles in the Hocus Pocus theme. So make sure if you don't know who that is, check her out. She does some really, really, really awesome DIYs, really easy. But um, I uh, think I'm going to do that with these candles. And that is the reason that I picked them up. And I think, oh, I do have this last candle holder. Oh my gosh, look at this. How pretty is this? It is so chic, so on trend. And it is like um, that amber glass kind of like vibe, you know? So that's really, really on trend this year. And this is just, the camera doesn't really give it justice, but it is so pretty and I cannot wait to use this. And it'll be perfect with just like a little tea light inside and it looks perfect for fall. So really good find with this too. I really scored with the candle holders this time. But that is all I have for today. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, um, thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you again. And that's all I have for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.